Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the series of how to make a game in UDK. This is me, Corporal Lock, today showing you how to add artificial intelligence into your game. So, as you can see, uh, I've gone ahead and I can put uh, ba natural boundaries around the edge of the map using the noise tool in the terrain editor, but uh, you should probably go ahead and do that now. Um, or you, you don't have to use noise, you could use uh, hills, mountains, or densely packed trees, which I'll come into at a later date. Um, so, yep, I'm going to now show you how to add artificial intelligence to your game. So first, as you can see, we have one player start. That allows for one player to spawn. But, we probably want more than one player to spawn. Let's add another, let's say, three or four player starts. We'll add one here. So as we, did, as we have done before, we right click, add actor, add player start. And then let's just go ahead and add these to the corners. Right click, add actor, player start. And right click, add actor, add player start. Right, so you now have three areas where people can spawn. There, oh, there, there, and there. So, oh, we need now need to go on to placing a thing called path nodes. Now, path nodes are the um, basically the links that tell AI what to do when there are no pickups available. So, what we'll do. <coughs> is you right click add actor and add path node now these tend to spawn at the wrong height uh, I don't know why but it's very annoying but just readjust them to the right height now these are up to can be up to one two thousandth part uh, up to one two thousandth part and if they're more than that they will become obsolete and not be used so it will make, we'll make a general path, add actor, a path node, and add actor, add path node, add actor, add path node. So you do something along this line. Now if you go to your view, viewport options and go ahead and tick show paths and then click oh show it path that should be done so if we then you should be able to click on one of these and it should show it but not sure ah if you go to uh, uh never mind you should be able to uh, view it, but never mind. Um, so these will be connected, and I'm going to go ahead and add more, but this will not be included in the video as it might take a bit of time. Okay, as you can see, I have now placed lots of these path nodes, which are represented as little apples, and I've placed them from all the player starts going around this field and into this little area here. So, what we need to do is we need to follow your path nodes and find places where you want to add weapon pickups so I'll put some pickups in this building and to do that what we have to do we have to open content browser actor classes you need to go to pickups and first we'll do let me think we'll do weapons and we'll have we weapon pickup factory, I think. Yep. And then when we've selected that, go to wherever you want to place it. Let's say in here, right click, add view to a pickup factory, and just drag it up into view. Add view to weapon, weapon pickup factory. And I'll put one there. one here uh, 
and we'll place one here. And I'll place three here. Oh, oh dear. I replaced it with one factory. Try not to click that button because it can go horribly wrong. Um Okay, so you've added your weapon factories. Now, these aren't randomized, so what you have to do is you have to find each one of these to right click UT weapon pickup factory uh, properties, UT weapon pickup factory, uh, weapon pickup class, and select from none to whatever weapon you want it to be. So link gun, close, properties, let's make that a link gun, close. Let's make that a rocket launcher. Let's make it a oh, let's make it a shot rifle. Close. I'll add this one to this one. Uh, let's go for a link gun. And over here, let's make. It's a rocket launcher, link gun, and a shock rifle. Um, so next what we want to do, if we've now added all of these, is we want to add vehicles to the game. So these are basically quite easy to do. Uh, what you have to do is you have to uncheck this, uncheck that, uncheck that. Uh, go to vehicles, and I'm going to add mantas, two mantas, a scorpion, and two scorpions and a chicada. Now, if you add a manta here, you just simply right-click, add manta, add manta, now add a Scorpion, add Scorpion, add Scorpion, and then we'll add a Shikada, uh, here. Yep, I think that's good. So, we now have our playable map that should have AI, but as before, so now we can now close actor classes. Uh, we need to build geometry. Blah 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 blah. That will become clear once we've done this. And then we'll build. Well, I'll build paths first. Let's build paths. And this basically configures all of the path nodes and pickups and vehicles to all work together. Uh, that's very important. If you want your AI to work, let's just rebuild geometry. Right. Okay, and then let's build lighting. And remember, since we have our importance volume, we can use light mass. Okay. Now, if you remember, the swarm agent will start running. <laughs> and as I've said before, no, it's not a dodgy virus. Uh, let's see how it's going. Uh, light mass will take the longest. Hopefully, it won't take too long. So at the moment, um, to me, I have, I don't know how to um, make it so AI actually spawn as soon as you start the map. But I do know how you can add them into the game once you start playing it. So let's just wait for light mass to build. As the more content you add and the more complex you make your map, the longer light mass will take to build. So here we are. We're done. Close. And um so now as we, aha, since we built paths, now it will show the paths of our path nodes. So as you can see, these two represent different types of paths, white and green. They all have different sort of uh types. And I'll tell you that white is a wide path and green is normal width, so white and green is what you want to aim for. Okay now okay, so now we can actually play the game. So if I go and click 
play in viewport. Oh, doesn't mind that. Uh, we can now see we've got our uh, vehicles, buildings, our pickups. And now I shall add the AI. So you click tab, add bots, oh, add bots, and then the number you want. So I, I've, I have four spa um, spawns, so I'll add bots three. And this would spawn three other bots. Now, for, de for the purpose of demonstration, I'll get in this helicopter and I'll fly over to them. So as you can see, you now have AI fighting on your map, and you can freely, freely use the vehicles. Uh, the bots will freely use the vehicles. They'll use the pickups. They are actually quite clever bots. They will shoot at you. They will try and kill you. And you can see, I've just been killed. And once you've done this, this is basically the game. This is how your artificial intelligence will be. And it's important that you save it as DM, because these are all the YouTube UK sets for the configurations of AI and the physics. And the physics of it. Um, so yeah, and this is all UT3 content, since that's the UDK presets. And gameplay really serves it, but it is really adds a lot to your game. Um, con um, it's all UT3 content, say the presets. You can change content yourself, but that is going into U script and other stuff, and I will probably won't cover that. Cover that. Okay then. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Please comment and subscribe. Um, so yep, we now know how to add AI to the game. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope you enjoy fighting your robot AI. <laughs> Thank you very much, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.